We're gonna do this uh, photo I received from Player Hill. We lose the fence, but we keep the distant trees and the nearby trees. Hello again. We're gonna do uh, Edward Wesson this time. You know, Wesson used always the French mop. It's a uh, Squirrel hair, it's very soft, contains a lot of water and pigment, and you make a beautiful washer with it. So, Western used Ultramarine, Windsor Blue, uh, Raw Sienna, Light Red, the usual colors. I make a sketch already for my uh, yeah landscape. Here's the the field, some trees, some distant hills. Here behind is water, some water on the field. I received uh, a nice photo from Claire Hill, a friend from Twitter. And I may use it. So let's go. First, oops, a little more water. So, ultramarine blue, raw sienna. Wesson was always a, a Shenna guy in his hair, in his skies. A little bit of water. Vertical strokes, he's famous for that. Your hoor does the same thing. I believe the Western uh, painted horizontal. But this uh, for filming the subject that is for me that it is lay flat. Simple sky. I use two brushes, so you can easily yellow or raw sheen in this, in this case. I preserve white band here. Maybe we need a little bit of nice shape. Uh, the paper in Bockingford is, uh, yeah, it, it's a Wesson paper. Uh, you could say that uh, Wesson painted the Bockingford because it's cheap paper, or relatively cheap, and he liked it. Well, I like it too. And uh, he got a hundred forty pound, and especially for him. They make a 200 pound, and this is a 200 pound paper. It don't doesn't goggle a lot. And it's nice paper. It is got a nice texture. Granulation is okay. So. 
So we take a little bit of Windsor blue, just a tiny bit, because it is so powerful. And we make a light field. Watch out for the white band. In this green, we take a little bit of raw sienna. So we variate the color a bit. I've got to do some sky color here. Doesn't matter. I just do it like that. Make sure the amount of water in your brush is the same as the surrounding, then it don't bleed so much into each other. So So this is was uh, raw sienna with Windsor blue. And now we take Windsor blue with burnt sienna. So we get a darker green. For the foreground. Well, there's a nice gradation. Maybe some dark here. The edge of the pool. So the white paper is gone, you could say. You see, I cut some re reflections instantly. So we make some noise. dry enough. So we get distance hill here, hills. Let's have a look. Oh, I think I need a more precise brush for this. Uh, ultramarine blue, light red. A little bit of alizarin crimson. Simple washes. 
I make it here lighter because the trees must come through. Burn sienna, a little bit of ultramarine blue. See the, the hills are blue and I put a warmer color in it. You see that appearing. Bit of uh, burnt umber. I'm sure that does have this also in his paint box. Okay. Now we make the trees. This is all wet, but it doesn't matter. It blends in. Rosiana. That you do it. Typical Wessons go with the shape of the tree. Well, it are trees, but don't paint trees, paint, paint just the shapes. But green, blue, light red, nice bluey shadow. You put it in the trees a bit for 3D effects. But you put it also as a sort of shadow under our trees. We connect the shadow all through.
Well, uh, yes. What the color is making quick decisions. What I shall do next, what I shall do now. Because when you put it down, it's somehow the pleasure that it is going to stay there for a long time. Same mixture, only darker. Some branches. You notice that this paper is very hard, fast drying. I don't know why it is. It's maybe it's got to do with the temperature here or the dryness. But I think also that it is not 100% cotton paper but only 50 or something like that. River bench. We need some uh, reflections. Don't make it too hard. Just put the colors down that are here above. That should be fine. Yes. Okay, now the field needs a uh, yeah, sort of shadow. We make a dark green. Same colors. Windsor blue and burnt sienna. Small here, bigger here. When this shadow is done, we shall blow dry it with, and then we go further. Welcome back. It's uh, dried now. It's much lighter, so we need uh, some stronger shadows here and there some more branches. Let's have a go. A dark mix, light red, ultramarine blue. You can also take uh, ultramarine blue and uh, raw umber. Doesn't matter. This is, this is a little bit bluer, more purple. You get a if you mix with burnt umber, you get a more grayish gray.
mix here. Wesson is uh, one of my favorite painters. His style is uh, loose. That's not good. Simple shapes. Road washes. See when I put dark here, the light is much more lighter. So don't make a watercolor light, 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 but add some darks in it. Okay. Here are some stronger shadows. Just create some trees here. This is focal point a bit. So we need some dogs here. I take Ultramarine, Raw Sienna. Let's have a look if it works fine. I think it is. Here we need some dark trees in the distance. Burnt Umber. A little bit of ultramarine blue or cobalt, just to make the burnt umber a bit darker. I top it off with fresh water so it bleeds a bit in the distance.
some bushes. Well, let's have a look with the mat on. I think I uh, finished it. It's okay. Thank you very much.